it's Bloodborne, it's Coffee, it's Johnny here. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Ah, you know when that song plays is when the action is about to happen. Let's get ourselves into game view here. And today we're going for some hashtag progression. Hope you got your coffee handy. We're going in. Now, last time when we left off, we did the, the hunter here. Sort of a, a tough little, I, I guess like a mini boss in some ways. What's next? It's the spider boss. I think it's one of the few bosses I remember quite distinctly, probably for a reason. Pr Prim, welcome back, dude. Hashtag project <laughs> progression. Yeah, man. The You know, the first step is believing it. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, Prim. Welcome back, dude. Oh. When the red moon hangs low. The line between man and beast is blurred. And when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. <laughs> dramatic reading. This is why you come here, man. It's for the, the dramatic effect. Let's explore the upstairs. I think that door over there was the actual boss. Lunarium key. Another thing that Mr. Elephants on Acid reminded me of is that I have to go back to that tower and grab the... What was it? It, it was like a rune or something that allowed me to buy Ludwig's sword. Or holy sword? Which looks fantastic. And so I want it. Hello, sir. I disapprove of your actions. Ooh, almost fell down. Totally under control. Empty phantasm shell. Oh yeah. Feeling good about things, man. I also want to get back to AC Odyssey. Really want to finish that. Been having a ton of fun with it. Yeah, some type of badge that lets you get the Holy Blade. Oh, uh, Prim, I, 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 didn't, I didn't remember that you also played. Bloodborne? Did you finish it? Yeah, I really want that holy blade. It looks real sexy, dude. What did we get just now? Hello, Basil. Are you okay, buddy? You wanna come up here? He just ate a lot. <laughs> um, Did we not just get, like, um... An item. Sword Hunter badge? That's not it, right? We did get the Lunarium key, which I suppose we needed anyways. It just seemed like I picked some... Oh, it, this was it. Okay, let me take a look here. Yes, I didn't start a second playthrough for the DLC, but I'm stuck. Oh, dude, is it really tough? Is it a particular boss you're stuck at? Empty invertebrate shell that is said to be a familiar of a great one. The healing church has discovered a great variety of invertebrates, invertebrates? Or phantasms, as they are called. Shells with slime still harbor arcane power and can be rubbed on weapons to imbue them with their strength. Ooh. I understand. That, are you okay, Basil? He's gonna be alright. Probably gonna sleep it off. I will open this door. Hello, sir. Is he dying? <laughs> is he dying? Oh, uh, remember me, Prim. Wh what, is, what is the strat with this boss? Do we want to kill the little spiders first? Or do we ignore the little spiders and go for the main thing? Ah. 
nothing like a good coffee at the end of a hard day. Some games, some good company. Okay. Have mercy, the dead. I think in my playthrough I killed this guy. Doesn't he drop something? I think he might drop something. You know what, sir? I'm gonna take you out of your misery here. Just for science, you know, I need to see if, if you drop something. I. What is that? Purple Mango, welcome back, dude. How's your day going? I ignored the spiders and focused solely on, like, the big one. Oh my god, are you killing the Emperor? Is it- is that what it's called? It's the spider boss. Um, I just want to check because we picked up like a new cool rune. Aye. Uh, it's not clear what it does. <laughs> Allows one to make additional discoveries. Not super clear. I guess it's item discovery. Goes up. That's probably it. All right, guys, you ready? Pretty good. I'm going to start getting ready for your stream. Okay, uh, if you're still around, I will. I'll definitely raid you, dude, and watch you play the epilogue because I really enjoyed it, and I want to see your reaction to certain things. He looked like the Emperor from Star Wars. Oh, that dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, he really did. He's such a great actor, that guy. You know, when I came back to watch the movies, hello, sir. The very first thing I noticed upon like rewatching them was, sorry, did, did I get one shot by, by a fucking tiny spider? The one thing I noticed straight away was like how good that guy was. You know, like that actor. What is his name? Like, the old dude. He does such a great job, man. Hey, Purple, did you finish your work? Because I know you were, uh, you, you were pretty tired with all of the work you had, you, had do, you had to do. I'm pretty tired myself, dude, but this is, this is the stuff that gives me energy, you know? Also... I had like a nice steak and potatoes, which is very positive. Uh, I was hoping my souls would be up here, but nope, they're down there. Hello, Basil. Are you okay? Hello, buddy. Um, well, the one thing is I would like to have my souls. I know, right, Basil? So unfair. I don't get my souls back? Do I just have to circle this dude until I see my souls? What's going on? This is one of the things I don't love. Like, in my opinion, you shouldn't have to spend the, the first portion of the boss fight looking for your souls. I feel like it should be a bit more, like, streamlined. Yeah, can't find my souls. Alright, well... Okay. They do a bunch of damage. I keep expecting the big one to do stuff. Oh, that's right, didn't you have to attack them from behind? Like they, they tank a lot from the front. Oh, was good damage, but damage was taken in return. Basil, can you not sit on the blinds, my dude? Okay. So we kill the spiders. Dude, get back here. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, the moment you want a cat to not do something, you know that's when they're gonna do it. Why do we have to kill the little spiders? Is it just because they can attack you and like do a ton of damage? Or is is the boss actually immune if you don't? Like right now, can I just wail at you? Like a full stamina bar? You're just gonna respawn. Yep, just gonna respawn. <laughs> Alright then. What you doing? What is he doing? Help me guys. Just roll forever and hope for the best. I think those shards fall down at some point, don't they? Could be wrong. No! Oh! Thank God. Oops, JK. Ouch. He's doing it again. I keep expecting those to fall down. Whoa! Well, there they are. <laughs> there they are. He has that launch move. And also a mortar-like attack. Basil, come over here, buddy. All right, my cat is gone rogue. Come on, buddy, get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, let's go for another attempt. We still got plenty of heals. The thing is, it seemed like la that time he didn't actually launch the, the shards. Like, he did the thing, but they didn't come down, right? So what's up with that? Also, let's equip our Molotovs. Molotov Michelle. There we go. Basil invaded you in true souls fashion. That's that's true. Okay. Basil, behave, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's go. We could have leveled up, I think, maybe with those souls before going in here, to be honest. No! Oh. I saw that too late. Kind of tricky to hit them from behind, to be honest. I mean, it seems more reliable to just attack them normally. Just drop a combo and it does the job. Ouch. Was not watching. Oh. I thought it was full HP. That's just my bad. I got to watch the HP bar a little bit more. Let me finish my coffee here. Th that's what's wrong. Ah, that's the stuff. 
Basil, can you not sleep on, on the cable, my dude? There's very little consideration for his human parent. <laughs> now, actually, he's quite good. He's quite well behaved. He's a little playful right now with the blinds, which I don't really appreciate, but... All right. I think this is almost like a patience thing. You got to kill all the spiders every time, then go in, do some damage. The other thing too is I don't really know how to dodge the mortar attack. Do I just dodge to the side or what's the... What is the play? Get baited. Let's go. Come on, buddy. I know you want to jump me. All right. Just dead. There. Oh, that was close. Like, what happens if I go in right now and attack the boss? Do I really need to kill every fucking spider? That seemed... Oh, the spiders stay? Oh, so they just build up. Game over, man. Welcome back, dude. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, Woo. no. Still had some more coming. Oh, boy. <laughs> he has that launch. Oh, no, sorry. That's what you said before. Damn near the next boss, I see. Yes. Yes. Run past all the spiders? I don't know, man. Does it really work? Because they just, they seem to build up, right? So, like, when he respawns, he just calls a whole bunch of spiders. For me, I ignored the spiders and nearly sprinted the entire time, staying away from them while being aggressive on ROM. ROM? Is that the name of the spider? Like CD-ROM? Basil, you okay, buddy? Yeah? Okay. He has stabilized. Run past all the spiders? Yes, it worked for me. Okay, I'm gonna try that, dude. And if it fails... I could blame you. In fact, a weaker man would, but, you know, I take full ownership. As long as you're quick, dude, I'm quick. I'm real quick. You ready for this? If only I knew how to deal with the mortar attack. The world would be my oyster. The, the thing I have is, is a little tricky to, to sprint and camera pan at the same time. I sort of have to use my, my thumb for that and I don't, I don't love it. So you get three attacks. And you have enough stamina for a roll. Uh, to dodge the mortars, do not dodge. Instead, sprint. Ooh, thank you. Thank you for the tip. I'll try that. Sounds like a good tip, actually. One, two, three. And he's gone. There he is. Okay, so I'll just try to sprint to the side when he does the... Kind of running out of stamina here. See, it, it, it didn't drop, right? It's like the mortar didn't drop this time. That's what's confusing me. Oh. Oh, it's when he does that that it goes down. I got you. I got you. Oh. I understand now. 
understand what signals you're sending me, game. Oh, 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 okay. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh. Where is it at now? To be honest, this is working, man. Sorry, I can't, I can't read the comment right now. Game over, man. Give me a second. I really want to pay attention to this. Dude, Prim, thank you for the tip. The sprinting works like a charm. I mean, it is a little tough to get past all the spiders. Um, and we are potentially dead. Okay. Oh, sprint, 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 sprint. We are golden, man. That is the best tip I've ever received. I don't know. It's just paid off in a very big way. Oh, okay. We have died. Was I not full HP there? Prim, listen to this man. Johnny knows his stuff. It's what I did. Yeah. Yeah, Prim knows his stuff, man. That was a great tip. To be honest, we had it. I think I got sloppy. I didn't realize my HP was low. Because, you know, as long as you got your, your HP at max, you should have been able to tank that attack, but I think we didn't. So that's my bad. But, I mean, the strat kind of works. It does get a little difficult towards the end. Because there are so many freaking spiders. But to be honest, at that point, if you have to, you can probably just clear some of the spiders to open space. It's a cool boss, though. I like it. It's quite unique. You know, w with the water and stuff. No, not full HP and no problem. Very intense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's quite intense, man. Um... Yeah, no, mistakes are made. It, it does happen. It's not a big problem. You know, I've played enough souls that dying doesn't really phase me too much. As long as there is, like, some improvement happening from uh, in-between attempts. Just gonna try to not get hit by that melee attack the, the spider has. CD-ROM is how I'm gonna call it. CD-ROM, the vacuous spider. Hello. It looks like you can sort of keep hitting it for a bit. There it is. Oh. Stay away from him while he's on he's on his back uh, okay gotcha yeah this is the fight where you have to practice your your skills with the thumb to to move the camera or yeah mo like moving the camera with your thumb basically right at the same time as you sprint i'm not i'm not super good at it just trying to find an opening here. I think I... Oh, no. Now is not a good time. Oh. It's a little... It's a little tight. Oh. No. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, somehow worked. <laughs> All right, boys. Almost half HP down. Only have one heal left, but... Okay. Shower. Shower time. We're going in. Okay, okay, okay. Just kidding. Teleports away. Where's he going? Oh, over there. That's a lot of spiders. Holy crap. Oh, shower. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. 
Get it. Get out. I think two hits is the key. I think we got this, boys. There's a whole lot of spiders. <laughs> it would be cool if you could use that attack to actually kill some spiders. That would be pretty creative. Oh. Wow. Actually killed us? That, that thing does a lot of damage, man. Like the, you know, the, the tantrum he throws. Okay. Tell you what. We're gonna go pick up Ludwig's Holy Blade. It will serve as a short break from this. And on the way, we're gonna try to pick up some healing items. Yeah, he's a damage whore. Like, that attack just does a ton of damage, man. We must have been near full HP, I think, when that hit us. Okay, so you go... Um, Cathedral Ward? Pretty sure. How was your day, game over, man? Do you also have work today, like in the late shift? You're doing like a, a 10.30? That's pretty tough, man. I don't know how you can pull off a night shift. That's crazy. Yeah, I should farm for more health vials. Yeah. Definitely need some more uh, health vials because, you know, zero does not seem conducive to, like, a good outcome. And to be fair, when it gets to, like, the, the final portion, I think I really gotta do some crowd control and kill, kill some of those spiders. Ouch, ouch, you fuck. Sleeping? <laughs> it's easy. Is it like behind a counter, game over, man? Or are you doing like deliveries and shit? Hello, sir. I don't really mind dying here. I mean, I just want to get the... I just want to get the... Hello, sir. Oh. Okay, it's a little bit inconvenient. I would like to continue though. Thank you. You picked up Nino Kuni too? Cool, man. Let me know what you think. Thought you would be streaming at 8. Hello, Cloud Curiosity. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciate. You know what, uh, Cloud Curiosity, I've ac actually adjusted a little bit. I think I'm gonna be starting at 7 instead of 8. Um, I've updated the panels down, down below. And you can also follow me on Twitter if you want like more accurate... Oh. Um, you know, notifications. But I'm going to try out 7, because usually I'm, you know, I'm ready to game at 7, and I just end up waiting a little bit until 8 p.m. Yeah, we got it. But the reality is, you know, if I start at 7, then I open, I open myself to the possibility of, like, one extra hour of streaming. And if I'm really tired, I can just call it earlier, and that's fine. Maybe go read something. How are you doing today, Cloud Curiosity? Oh, yes. Now let's see if we can make it through here. It might be a little tricky. To be honest, if we die, it doesn't really matter at all. Oh, almost fell down. Excuse me. Hey, we made it. Nope, it's not the way. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. 
Yeah, you better stay there, bitch. Been working in Ireland for four days? What do you mean, do you live in Ireland? Or are you saying that you moved to Ireland for work? Now I'm the one that's curious. Plus the time goes really fast, most of the time. Oh, sorry, uh, game over, man. Working in a warehouse, sorting parcels in the correct postcode. The job is easy. You're left alone and can listen to music. That's really good, man. Actually, now that you say that, uh, I remember you told me about this. Because I asked you already, but I, I forgot. I apologize. The, the warehouse thing does sound quite, quite nice, to be honest. You live in Manchester. Prim, did you roll through window on elevator ride already? Yes. I believe I did. So you are talking about that elevator we were at? There was like a midway drop, right? I can't remember what we got out of that, but I remember Elephants on Acid mentioned that, and I, I think I did it. I don't think you're boring, game over, man. In fact, I had a lot of fun that time we were in voice chat. We had a, we had a fun time. Come on. Whoa. You know, one thing I don't really get is why sometimes he will do an attack when I press L1. And other times it will just do the transformation. Sometimes it actually screws me over because I just want to transform the weapon, but it does the attack as well. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Do you remember what we get in that drop, Prim? Because I'm having a hard time remembering. I, I do remember doing it, I think. We can go check. Thank you, Johnny. Had a nice time too, dude. Um, I don't know if you know me enough to know this, but I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Sometimes I'll sug sugarcoat things, but I really try very hard to never, like, lie. I'm a big believer in just being very honest and broadcasting things as, as I feel them. I find that in, uh, you know, overall it works better. All right. I'm loving the tonitrus, man. The damage is finally starting to shoot up. Was a little bit underwhelming at first. You seem sincere. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, if, if you know me enough time, you'll, you'll see. I, it's just... And if you talk to me in voice chat, it's not much different than the way I talk here. The only thing I try is not to have, like, long silences if I'm streaming, because, you know, it doesn't make for a very entertaining uh, watch. And I think the L1 attack happens when you push forward. I'm trying that right now, Prim. I'm also trying like a double tap and it didn't do it for me. I don't know what it is. It's weird. I also tried L1 and R1 at the same time and doesn't do it. It triggers me a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. We also have uh, some runes that we might try to equip here. So make additional discoveries. We'll grab that. What, what is the other one we have? Physical damage reduction. The beast rune. I don't think we need that. Higher blood vial maximum. I mean, I guess we'll take that. Where did you get the electrical, the electric weapon from? Game over, man. Do you remember that reaper enemy that uh, that kidnaps you to the jail cell? In that in that jail cell location, you know, you just make like a 
a short run and you can you can grab it it's, uh, you know if you YouTube that you'll find like a short video on it what do we need guys visceral attacks restore HP arcane damage reduction maybe how about that or oh shit acquire more blood echoes okay I think I'm happy with those we got the repair done. Oh, can we upgrade our weapon at all? Fortify weapon. Has a hage. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. How was your day? Yeah, we can't do that. Oh, we could upgrade the. Definitely want to upgrade the cannon, right? Because the cannon seems real good. I don't want to spend that many stone shards because I want to save some for Ludwig's sword. And I know you can buy them, but, you know, I just prefer to save them for now. Okay, let's go back. We'll do a couple more attempts. Overall, I like the Tenitris. I, I do like the idea of having, you know, several weapons. Because in some cases, you, you do need, like, different different range on your attacks for certain bosses okay thanks did you beat the dark pearl beast i don't think so is that the electric dog enemy because i did fight him and it was in that same area i was talking about um but i'm not sure about the name oh was that it no i didn't beat it man it was like way above my level at the at the time. I did try it a couple times, but it was just overwhelming. Could also try a summon, but I don't think we need it right now. You had to call in help. Yeah, that seemed pretty tough, dude. He's got like rabid attacks. So like he'll pounce on you with, with very little animation sometimes. Okay. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe we can use uh, the pungent blood. Do you think that works in the spiders? On the spiders? Whoa. Whoa. Everybody come down. Use the cannon to finish off the beast. Oh, shit. Gotta look at the game. <laughs> yeah, uh, the cannon is... Can be pretty strong. Like Right now, it wasn't doing as much damage because it wasn't leveled up and I don't have any stats that... Like, any skill stats. Oh. Hello, sir. Ah, didn't, didn't quite find the opening I wanted there. What about now? What about now? Oh. Got him good. Still no hits. Have you guys watched any... Oh, shit. Have you guys watched any no-hit runs for Bloodborne? Oh, shit. Get out, get out. Um, a couple of streamers I really like, so shout out to, I think it's Squilla. And the other one is Faraz Khan. Faraz? No, no, no! Oh, he almost got me. I really like those guys, and, and they do amazing challenge runs. They do these crazy no-hit runs. Yeah, I have a 30, 35 speed run. Is the spider an optional boss? No, I don't think it is. Don't think it is. Could be wrong. Right, let's see if this works. Hmm, I don't know. Does it work?
Ooh. Got in the combo. Excuse me? <laughs> Elephants on acid. <clears throat> Welcome back, dude. You join us at a very good time. How was your day? There seem to be a lot of spiders. Now, I don't think the pungent thing is working. I don't think it works on them. Sadly. Okay. Good thing I stayed away. Can also shoot him, right? Oh. Got a ton of work done. Time to watch the stream and relax, dude. Welcome. I am honored to be your relaxation of choice. That sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? I went ahead and made it weird. Very greedy hit, but um, kind of worked. All right. Maybe some Michelle Molotovs as well. Oh, there he is. Um. Oh. No. I wanted to use the cannon, but, you know, couldn't really lock on him. Dude, it, it gets pretty tough with so many spiders. I think maybe I should take some time to clear them. I don't know. It does get pretty tough. What is your recommendation, uh, elephants on acid? Oh, there's a greedy... There is a greedy positioning right there. Oh. balls you know what heal yourself use a whole lot of fire on his backside I like the way you think I will do my best oh no I got stunned oh that was almost a wrap did do a, a decent amount of damage. Oh shit. I hate that attack. <laughs> hate that attack. Was a good hit and run. Keep going. Think. I, I don't want to jinx it. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Keep going. Oh. Okay. Still have a cannon shot. If we can line one up. No. We got stuck on the spiders. Lord, help me. No. He's doing it again. Oh. The universe helped me there. Okay. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Okay. It's one hit. It's nice. Oh. We're going in. I see an opening. I see the matrix. Let's go! CD-ROM slaughtered. Woo! 
Got him. Ken Coldblood. Let's go. Uh, thank you for the echoes, bitch. Good evening, guys. Spot of luck. Welcome back, dude. How was your day? Wait, where are we supposed to go? Oh. Is that it? Nice moves, Johnny. That was beautiful. Thank you, Prim. That actually went quite well. I think we did a good job with the camera as well. It's kind of hard to to sprint and, and pan the camera, at least for me. Busy work is hard. Yes. <laughs> it was hard for me as well. But welcome, dude. I'm glad you chose to join us again. Are you feeling better, Spot of Luck? Because you, you, were, you were a little down, right? Like going down with a sore throat and stuff. Gonna go back to streaming? What are you thinking of streaming these days? Kirk Hammer. Is the Kirk Hammer any good? It looks like it would be a cool weapon. Like w with the big hammer and, and stuff. I could get behind that. Yeah, feeling more human now? That's good, dude. Back to streaming on Saturday. Fair enough. Ritual secret broken? Seek the nightmare newborn. Streaming indie stuff at the moment. Oh, that's cool. Dude. What uh, what indie game are you looking into right now? Um, who is the nightmare newborn? And where am I? <laughs> the area is definitely familiar, but. Uh, Yargul Unseen Village. Hello, sir. Oh, this door was locked before. Right? Pretty sure. Look up. Holy actual balls? No. Run! Dude, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? How did I not see that originally? Because that door was closed last time I came here. Was that thing there? Holy fuck. Okay. There is probably a lamp after this, dude. There is a game out in spring 2019. I got a key for the Texorcist. <laughs> That's fun. And another small game called Little Bug. That's cool, man. I, I do like indie games as well. I do play them quite often or fairly often. What is that popping effect that they do when they die? What does it mean? Thank you for the vials. It was always there, but they are invisible until a certain madness level. Dude, you're a genius. That makes a lot of sense. That is creepy as fuck. To think that those things were always there and I just didn't see them. Because I, I did see the attack, they do, right? Obviously, but... No. Hello, sir. Get eliminated. How do you guys rank the bosses so far in terms of difficulty? What is like the, the... So out of the bosses we've done so far, which one do you rate the most difficult? Sorry, my throat is catching a bit here. Let's um, go back to the dream real quick. To me, I think Amelia was the toughest one, but it's probably because I chose to do it, you know, a bit early. I have too many games to get through at the moment. Still got to find time for 39 days to Mars. 
Lamplight City and To the Moon. I actually haven't, haven't seen stuff about those games. They do sound pretty interesting, though. I really like space stuff. For me, the Blood Starved Beast was the worst. Not sure if you did it. Yeah, we did do it. Um, Welcome. What it did is take it a few attempts. I think it, it took definitely... I think it was seven attempts. I could, I could be, Very you know... Well. Let the echo one up or one down. Close. But it was... Yeah. I think that, that might have been the first boss that it, like, kicks it up a notch. What do you think, boys? I think we go, like, one HP and then full-on strength. And by full-on, I mean we have no more level-ups. <laughs> this stuff is just costing a lot of money, man. Okay. Okay, two things. You dummy, you need to buy Ludwig's Holy Blade. Dummy. Used to gain unspeakable blood echoes. Whoa! We got 20,000 echoes? Dude! I haven't fought many bosses yet, Cloud Curiosity. Where are you at in the game? Which boss are you doing right now? Elephants on acid balling! <laughs> Dude, finally gonna get the, the Ludwig Holy Blade. I will purchase this. Thank you. It's also... Do you think it's on purpose that they give you 20,000 more or less at a time where you can buy that blade? Is it a coincidence? Is that Father, Father Gas, Gasquan? Gasquan? <laughs> was the hardest? Just because of the early levels? Yeah, that, that was the first boss where you say, okay, right, this is what we're doing. This is, uh, this is where the shit gets real. Um... Let's try the, Lud the Ludwig Holy Blade for a bit. So, very small sword in this form. What sort of attacks are we looking at? Kind of like that. Oh, the nice thrust and the jump attack. Not bad. All right, transformation. Oh, oh yeah. Love the look of that, dude. The weapon I used, the Ludwig, you used Ludwig's uh, Holy Sword as well. Will make you rip your balls off. <laughs> Prim, you love the daggers? I don't think I've ever tried the, the daggers. Oh, that's interesting, dude. That attack? Oh, the sound of that is pretty cool too. A very slow thrust attack. Or, of course, the jump. And uh, what is the charged version of that? Hold on. Wow, it does take quite a while to charge. Okay. All right. This is very good range. And um, what is the scaling on this? It's D scaling. Also scales uh, with... Uh, what, what's that one... Arcane. Interesting. Love switching between the two swords. Very cool. So I suppose the, the stamina usage on this one is way more efficient. Almost half the stamina for an R1 attack. Okay. Let's improve. Let's uh, fortify. The, the sword here. Hopefully, quite a few level ups we can do. Oh, it becomes C scaling with our cane. That's very interesting. Almost tempting to get some levels in our cane, to be honest. I will beat that witch when I get home. Oh, the Hemwick. Ch uh, Charnel Lane, I remember. Yeah, you'll get him. You'll get him. It, it wasn't very tough. It just, you know, takes a, couple, a few tries to... to get it right. Um, okay, we're out of that. But a plus four blade. Not bad. 
furthermore, <laughs> um, could I just remove stuff from here? So we'll just replace with some lower gems. And then let's see what we got. What options do we have? Physical attack when up is good. Thrust attack up makes a lot of sense for this one. And maybe this, just a raw damage. Game Overman picked up some new headphones, just some budget ANC ones from Amazon, but they revealed well compared to popular brands. I've never tried ANC, but uh, I'm glad to hear it worked out, man. Getting headphones is usually quite tricky. I always like to try them first to make sure, you know, that, that I'm gonna like them. Okay, so we're basically set up. And I do want to go ahead and try some of this. Oh! We're, we have a lot of madness right now or insight. So maybe we can just buy some stuff over here. Indeed, we can actually buy twin stone shards. I think I'll use like eight. And we should have... What is the problem of getting mad? Like if your insight goes too high, what happens? Spot of luck. So what other games do you have planned for the stream? I want to do AC Odyssey, which I'm like halfway into the story. And I also wanted to try out Mutant Year Zero. I hope I said that correctly. It's like an XCOM-like indie game. Uh, I'll use this. I don't get the madness thing. I, I thought that was the same as frenzy, but I guess I guess I was wrong. You can do this to get insight. In fact, you can you can get like a lot of insight. What why don't we do that? Just gave us two right there. Well, if the if the suck, if they suck, I can send them back. <laughs> Earth Mutant Zero is brutal, yeah. Seemed like the difficulty wasn't very well implemented in it, but we'll see. Plus five, so we need eight bloodstone shards. Do you guys think we have enough? I think we, if we pop like a few of our madman knowledge here, like if we use multiple, if we use like eight. Is there something bad that happens if you just have a lot of insight? Does it have an effect? Or like... Like I know you were saying you get to see stuff that you don't otherwise. Oh yeah, I heard of Mutant Year Zero. My friend is a Massive XCOM fan, so I was trying to win a copy but failed. Yeah, it's also on Game Pass. So, you know, if your friend has that, then he's set. Bloodstone Chunk. Okay, so we, we've upgraded it. As much as we can here. It has very good scaling too. I'm happy. I'm happy. I think we can even level up. Once Welcome more. home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Prim, you need insight for multiplayer, but not sure what happens, if anything. I have had 99 insight for a while and nothing changed. That's good to know. Aside from being able to see like the big very dudes. Well, let me I was a little worried that it, it there might be some effect, but um, so at some point we want to level up skill as well, because our weapon scales with that. But for now it seems like strength gives us the most. Fair right. one. So, Moonside Lake. I don't think that's the right one, is it? That's where we killed the spider, but... Um, what was the actual bonfire we used? 
or was it that? <laughs> it could be that, to be honest. Oh no, it's the Unseen Village. I remember the name. Let's go. Beast Roar. Borrow the strength of the terrible undead dark beasts, if only for a moment, to blast surrounding foes. Huh. Huh. Yargul Unseen Village. Wait, we can still see that dude, and we only have one insight. Huh. What's going on with that? Do not remember this area. Bloodstone chunk? Duh. It's the tier of materials we needed. Yargul Hell? Uh, excuse me. Very rude. Especially while I'm trying out new gear. Oh. Interesting. Seems like the Hunter Garb might be like one of the best stats. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Still hit me, huh? That popping sound they make when they die. It's like they're a, like a, a humanoid piñata. Any possible drops? No. I see what's going on. I've played Souls games before. I know a shortcut when I see one. Nothing over here. I still think that Tonitrus is like really good. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yes, you may be the first. <laughs> oh shit, they, they do like an AoE attack. Didn't realize that Johnny is an equal opportunities hunter who will kill you even if you are in a wheelchair. That's right, dude. No discrimination. Hello, sir. Kindly get fucked. You are dead. Whoa. Really wish we were getting more blood vials than this. Oh, hello, sir. You see that sneaky motherfucker? He was just waiting. What the? What? They respawn. What? Whoa. Excuse me. Ex fucking excuse me, sir. No! Norwegian, welcome back, dude. How's it going? Elephants on acid, they keep responding until you kill the bell ringing lady. <sighs> yes, Basil, I'm okay. Jesus. 
All right. So. Well, here's a possibility, right? What is keeping me from doing something like this? Okay. I mean, the numbers advantage. Oh, okay. Um, it does seem a little bit troublesome, but. So the fucking lady of the bell is dead, at least. Hello, sir. No! Every single sniper enemy in this game can eat a bag of dicks. And a big one, too. In fact, Go around the room and gather all the dicks. Put them in a the bag and eat the bag. Away! Away! Okay. Somehow, we survived. Like the song says. You know? Somehow I survived. Don't know the rest of the lyrics, but it's a good song. Fusion Frenzy. Goes good just playing Just Cause for what do you think so far? Really happy about how regular your streams are. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm really trying to have that schedule. I've actually tweaked it a bit. I was doing 8 p.m. Uh, but now I'm doing 7 p.m. Because usually I'm ready by 7, so it just gives me more time. The menses ritual must be stopped. Lest we all become beasts. The only days that I'm not streaming are Thursdays and Fridays. Thursdays because Takedown has his podcast with Carrick, and I like to support them, you know, watch and comment and, and all of this stuff. And, um, and Friday, well, because we have the international and I end up just banged because it's for me, it's work. I have one hour to have dinner after work and then it's boom, you know, a two hour podcast. I love doing it, but it, you know, I, I would be too low energy after that to to roll like a two-hour stream or three-hour. How do you feel about it so far, Norwegian? Looking forward to playing it myself. Is that just cause for Prim? I was kind of curious, to be honest, but um, people seem to be quite mad. <laughs> Some people were quite disappointed with it. Oh! Hello, sir. Right. Oh! Oh! -ho -ho. Oh! Sweet jump attack, dude. Oh! Did not remember those guys had a push attack. Gonna level with you. It kinda hurt. It kinda stings to die to this guy, cause you know we did a good job with getting through the initial section there. I think we might be. We might have to go for another uh, blood vial run. We need some healing. It's just cause it's not perfect, but it's still fun. Feels less grindy than three. Yep, just cause four is I always have a fun time with that series. Yeah, um, it looks fun. I mean, I like the mechanic with the with the grapple, with the hook, right? So you you, you attach things and they like <laughs> they uh, unpredictably b behave, uh, or I guess they interact with each other in in like a, a very interesting way. But uh, I, I see what some people are saying, like, you know, the graphics do seem a little bit last gen. When you look at the cutscenes and all of that, they're a little bit awkward.
And um, the interesting thing too is that a lot of the people complaining about it had had all the best intentions. What the fuck are you doing here? Sorry, sir, you loaded in the wrong level? Claw mark? Is that like a story thing that this guy appears here? What is the claw mark? Strengthens visceral attacks? Dude. Who plays just cause for the story though? True. <laughs> It's just so fun flying across the map without touching the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that does look pretty cool. <laughs> and I do like the, the flying suit that you have. Or the I guess the gliding suit. So I do appreciate it. It, it seems a little bit steep for full price, but... Um, I'll maybe try it. If I find it on a sale. Oh, Ooh, good range on the sword, man. It's a good sword. Just take acid and you can fly in real life. Life lessons with elephants on acid. I take no responsibility if you follow his advice. I'm gonna go ahead and reiterate my disappointment in the game that I have to keep doing these runs to get healing items. I mean, I'll grant you... I'll grant you that, you know, some of these bosses are taking quite a few attempts. But it, it would seem like there would be better ways to go about it than making you have to, to do runs. Like it, essentially, you're grinding, grinding up items, right? For fuck's sake, I hate these dogs, man. It's your funeral, buddy. Okay. Well, at least it's some vials. The fuck? Since when does the big guy appear over there? Alright. So, you go home, you repair the tonitris because that thing just breaks by looking at it. And then you go back. We know the drill, we can basically run past most of the dudes. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that helmet, though. Gonna level with you. I'm not really... Not really feeling the helmet. So, what does... You know, when, when, when you say Eldritch? Because you see that in a lot of games. And I know it's... You know, it's like a race of... I guess monsters basically, right? Oh, where does that come from? Is that from like some sort of mythology? Okay, so that dude is dead. Oh, don't tell me that the bell lady responds every time. Wow, she got white eyes. I'll take your bullets. Thank you very much. Hey, we can probably just run past, right? Like, if you're gonna chase me, fair play. I respect it. Yeah, that's the run. So it's sort of an easy run up to here, to be honest. One of the things that took... Oh, okay, did not see you there. Just being honest. Alright. Give me a jump attack. Nope, that's not the jump attack. 
Ooh, nice, nice thrust. Uh. Oh yeah. What I was going to try to say is um, it's taken me a while to change my mindset. I used to always kill every enemy in every area every time I run through. I'm dead. Gotta get used to the slowness of the big sword, man. The great sword. It's the, the R1 is, you know, the animation is way, way faster. And I'm used to the Tonitrus that has like a very fast attack as well. It's not a big problem though. Um, so yeah, in a lot of these areas, it's not really efficient for you to kill every enemy, right? Like the, the return you get out of doing that is just not great. I would like to not die here. If possibly. Okay. May have missed my first attack, but will not miss my second. Okay, keep going. I can hear another bell. Anybody chasing me? No? You know there's a motherfucker coming from behind. Hello, sir. Uh. The visceral. Okay. Oh. Holy shit, he killed us? Oh. That is just embarrassing. I can't believe we're dying to the to that slow big guy. Oh man. I think I might not have been full HP, otherwise he one shot me, which seems crazy. Probably was not full HP. Uh, okay. This is the kind of shit that Right. Oh, take a deep breath. Those guys are faster than they look. Just got a shitty CGI section, Nor. <laughs> that just happens, but a look. I mean, as far as deaths go, that was pretty painful. But I've had worse. I hate getting stuck in the scenery, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much. I don't... I don't feel a personal need to kill the sniper. Excuse me. We got the rundown. Nobody's chasing. Okay, here he comes. Yes. Oh, yes. That is the ticket. Hello, sir. Get fucked. Norwegian is the driving better in four than three. I would hope so. I would hope so. Okay. I... I do... kind of want... that. 
there. I'm also quite curious to see what that is. Visceral attacks grant more blood echoes. Could be a good way to get blood echoes, to be honest. Um, whoa. Sorry, what the fuck? You killed me? What, though? What? Where's Basil in all of this? Just disappear? Buddy? Basil. No idea where he's gone. Probably sleeping it off somewhere. Also, I do need to take a leak. <laughs> which is presently a problem. Presently a problem because the area is quite quite busy right now. I think no one's chasing me, right? Is it safe? <laughs> is it safe to take a break? I think so. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Just a short intermission here. Fully relax when <laughs> when that happens. Okay. Thank you for sticking around, guys. Let's continue. There we go. I thought that was a tub of Pringles. You know what? We can probably run past him. Maybe. Over here, big guy. Yeah. Okay, there's another guy. Get 
Okay. Then did not get her. What the balls? Oh. He only eats noodles and steak. <laughs> I think every time I talk about my dinner, it's the times that I have those two things. <laughs> But no, I eat more than that, dude. I'm actually a huge fan of Italian food. I try not to have it at lunch. Because of the whole, like, you know, carbs overdose. But I do love me some Italian food. Okay, sir, you know what? Not even gonna dignify that with a response. Yeah, eliminated. I mean, we probably don't need to kill the bell lady there because she's just respawning the dudes in the beginning. I do like noodles and steak. I never had both at the same time, though. Could probably be amazing. Um, I wish you wouldn't do that. Here we go. We're dead. Oh, 900 damage. Fuck. Oh, nice. We can come directly here now. Sounds dry. Yeah, a little bit. You know what I do, though? I take a steak, like a thin steak, and I slice it in into pieces like the song goes but instead of being my last resort i throw it in the wok and i do like you know a little bit of soy sauce and just make it pop with that it's pretty amazing dude pretty amazing always look to both sides this is like crossing the street but the the souls version of that Hello. Are these ladies gonna respawn too? Probably, right? Don't you lose the flavor? No, dude. If you cut it up... No, because, uh, you know, the juice falls in the wok and, like, everything just grabs that, basically. It's not open from this side. Whoa. Oh, that never gets old. Okay, you got me game. You got me game. Nine damage. Not terribly impressed. Got him. Like a nice rustic, rustic dish. Yeah. Dipping my steak in paprika and sea salt. Oh, dude, I do that too. That's real good. Prim, damn, that dude came out of nowhere. I know, right? What the fuck? Oh, look at these fucking sneaky guys. It's like they've been training. What the fuck? I swear I killed that guy. Oh, he respawns. Fuck me. Do not connect. Oh, 
Whoa! Did not know they had that attack. Right. It's popped. He keeps respawning. Fuck me. How do you get in there? I don't understand. All right, big guy over here. Oh, come on. He hits me. I call bullshit. Tiny tonitrus. That's cute. But not really what I'm looking for. The fuck? He spawned up there? Okay. I feel like that's sort of a dead end. Could be wrong, and I have been in the past. bit of a situation going on the only enemies I refuse to fight still are those damned hooded axemen they got inside your head are you talking about the ones in the woods like the big ones no sorry the ones in Hampshire whatever right I think I was killing them with one single jump attack I think Prim, you avoid... So, curiosity, you also avoided them? I can hear the bell, and all I want to do is make love with you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, is go to town. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? You have a laser? Touch the bell. Get out of here. Touch the bell. Oh, God. Didn't you get the memo? I touched the lamp. Okay. We're safe? The tanky ones? Yeah. They are bigger guys usually hidden throughout the areas. Well, we made it. Made it so far. Actually gonna return to the dream real quick because we got a level up here. Out of this. Oh, I think we're, we're doing good overall. I can't remember what the next boss is. Well, is it a tough it? boss? Very well, let me. Uh, strength is giving us one. One damage. Skill is not giving us... Oh, it, it gives us weapon two attack. I don't think skill is that worth it right now. Gives us one damage only. Let's get the HP, right? Hashtag progression. <laughs> yeah, man. We're, we're, we're getting there. Farewell, good hunt. Little by little, like the Oasis song goes. I gave you everything you ever dreamed of. And little by little, we need to get more healing items. <laughs> of course, right? Oh, tell me that later on in the game, there's a better way of getting blood vials. Because <laughs> it's, I think it might be the only thing that actually quite annoys me from the game so far. Gotta say. Why, what does it give... Why not just do the Estus system? What does it add? Like, what was wrong with the Estus system? Why do you have to make it a consumable healing item? 
You know, that, that's my only question. The only small thing I dare question, you know, for Miyazaki. Jesus fuck, can you eat a dick? I hate everything. Okay. Damn, you sloppy as fuck, man. What are you doing, Johnny? Give me the thrust. There we go. Yes, you can buy them. I thought you always could. Yeah, we can buy them. But that seems a horrible use of our souls, doesn't it? I mean, I do understand that sometimes I lose my souls and that's a, an even worse use of them, but... Overall, I try to save them for like uh, weapon repairs, fortifications and level ups. I love the blood effects, though, that you get. Oh, yeah. A little bit of tonitrous action. We got hit, but that's okay. Woo! Made it. Like, it doesn't actually take that long to, to do this run, but it's annoying. Like, the blood vials more so than the Estus. But Bloodborne was the first for, from software game played. Right. Hello, Basil. How are you, buddy? You had a good meal? Basil has been eating a lot. <laughs> Not, like, too much. But, you know, a decent amount. Okay, buddy. Let's get the coffee out of there. Coffee cup. All right. Just gonna run past this, I think. You okay, buddy? For me, I would farm, so I had 99 vials. Yeah. I might do that, so, you know, maybe before a stream, I might go for a few runs of vials just to, to have some in store. Because it, it's not the funnest thing to watch. It does provide a break, so, like, if, if you're trying a boss over and over, it's kind of nice to, to use that as a break, you know, go for a... Go for a run for some vials and then you go back refreshed. What did we say about headbutting my controller? Okay. So who's the better Bloodborne player? You or Basil? Definitely Basil. Because he's unfazed by anything that occurs in the game. <laughs> he just cares about food. Cuddles. And that's it. He's a simple man. He's a man of simple needs. He literally has like two needs. <laughs> two or three needs. Pretty sure we can just run past all of these fuckers, right? Oh. Whoa! Hold your horses. Gonna have some Mamma Mia pasta? What is Mamma Mia pasta? Is that a, a brand of uh, pasta? You fuck. How dare you. Here we go. Made it through. Okay, so that's the courtyard we were having some problems with. I will take the chunk. And be very thankful for it too. Um... I would like to not die to the giant laser. But I don't know if it's possible. Keep going. Made it. 
I forgot we had that lamp. Could it? <laughs> I'm so silly. Could have just used that lamp. Oh, right. What? So we're just gonna die to this basic enemy now? Was just stereotyping. Oh, sorry. I didn't read read that correctly. The way to read it is gonna make some mamma mia pasta. Cazzo. Those are like the two words. I know. I do love me some pasta, dude. I do love pasta. Okay. Remember the dead. Where are we going with this? That's another spawn point. Oh my god, it's dogs. Holy fuck. Lord, help me. Have mercy. What do you say to the god of dogs? Not today. Or maybe today. Potentially today. Oh. Holy fuck. You know what? Heal up. Not today. <laughs> okay, so what do we have down there? The bitch of the bell is still not around. And we have a sniper. Luckily the dogs don't respawn. That would be just brutal. Missed my attack, but you know what? That's okay. I'll take that. I think we're gonna run past here. Um, I can hear dogs, which is never a good thing, though. Eight blood vials. Let's actually go. Open the door, please. It's a broken lamp. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Wait, isn't this the place with the Reapers? Holy shit, my first sub ever. <laughs> Norwegian, thank you for the sub, my dude. Thank you for the sub, dude. That is my actual first subscription. It's crazy, man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. This is definitely the location, but it looks like the lamp is uh, is broken here. <laughs> Thank you, Norwegian. I really appreciate the support, man. You, you've been very, very good with uh, with helping me out in the channel here. Yeah, th this area is different. How are you doing this? I don't understand. Okay. Okay, it's too many dudes. Too many cooks. Okay. Alright. You know what? Not sure I love this numbers game that you have going on. So this is like the same area as before, but changed. Right. Oh. Oh. We're not doing a ton of damage. Holy fuck. Oh my God. Tell me there's a lamp somewhere. There isn't a lamp. What are you telling me? And what the fuck is that? What in the fuck is that? Oh, it can... It knows how to get up here. We're fucked. <laughs> oh, man. They got us, Basil. They got us. I just rage quit just cause for... Dude, what happened? What happened? I thought you were having fun with it. Hello. 
Low buddy. Low buddy. All right. Why are we not awakening in the other lamp? I don't understand. You know what? I refuse. We have the other lamp. What are we doing? I'm just a mission was doing, doing your head in. Was it just like a, a poorly told like story bit or what was the problem? Uh, <laughs> Basil, you just fell down, my dude. <laughs> dude, which um, which bonfire is it? Is the chapel, right? Lots of drones, and they wreck the thing I want to protect. Mm. How do you kill the drones? Do you just shoot them, or is there is there a more explosive, creative way to to do it? Prim, was it one of the time trial missions Karak had warned us about? Yeah, he did talk about those and seemed quite underwhelmed with them. He was not very impressed. Okay. Now, I don't know if this strategy works it's a good dodge okay so the dog is done it's not a bad run not a bad run and this door cannot be opened you know what before i kill these guys i'm gonna try to go downstairs with an AA, that's like an anti-aerial thing. Just a ton of drones. Yeah, that, that can be annoying. I'm not a huge fan of flying enemies in general in games. Hello, sir. I don't really know if, um, if I'm missing something, you know, painfully obvious. But it feels to me like there should be some sort of lamp the door does not open from this side and there are no doors over there okay hello maybe keep trying to go down that ghost scared the fuck out of me there's a giant fucking dog enemy Okay, okay. And the dead end. This seems like a very negative situation. <laughs> do we really have to do like a three on one? Okay. Okay then. And one of them has a cannon. And of course, I would bet my ass that the cannon has unlimited shots. Of course, right? I can only do one shot with the cannon, but that motherfucker can probably pull off like a ton of shots. Hello, sir. I would like to... No. I don't approve of this. You fuck. Them 300s and a werewolf in a tight space? Yeah, you know, between a rock and three very tough enemies. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue in the same way, but it, it's kind of accurate. So you can kind of safely run past and then tackle them in here. Not a good jump attack. You got you gotta you gotta find your openings better, dude. So I think our best bet is like the long sword. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can't just pull one of them either. Okay. That is not good. This is a this is a tough encounter, man. Three. Oh my. The cannon is just brutal. This cause three made me rage pretty bad or badly. Now that I think about it, some of the missions are enjoying us, annoying as hell. So annoying because like the, the enemies are just like overwhelming or what is the, what is the source of the annoyance? Gonna get you. Let's go. Two stone chunks. Fuck. That's real good, dude. It's real good. Get fucked. This guy always lands a shot on me, so I'm just gonna take him down here. Doesn't drop echoes. Very sadly. Dodge that guy's shot. Very good. Disregard the dog. He's gonna be alright. Uh, it's a little difficult because of the dog right now, but... Oh, oh. Just getting overwhelmed, man. Those damn tanks with the shields... With that I aim. That sounds pretty annoying. Elephants on acid, help me out, man. G give me the keys to the kingdom here. How do I... How do I take down those three guys? Because the, the cannon guy just... Like, the AoE of the attack is... Giant. How do you... You know? How do you... Okay, you know what? Everything is horrible. Um, no. In all honesty, just run past it all. <laughs> just run past the hunters? I mean, I like the way you think. It's definitely outside the box. I actually, I'm getting flashbacks of fighting these guys, and, and uh, if I remember correctly, once I did kill them, either the loot was, like, insignificant or definitely not worth my time. The locking, the locking is just so bad in that. Why would it lock on the dog instead of the dude that I'm facing? Okay. All right, all right, buddy. Sit the fuck down. Get iced. Okay. Well, let's try to run past this, but I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for stopping by, man. Really appreciate it. And hope you feel better from your cold. Okay, well, let's just try running past these dudes. It does seem like there's a whole area down here. I don't really know where to go, but... Ooh! A new set? He can't hit me, he can't hit me. Okay, maybe you can. You might very well be able to hit me. Oh, they shoot stuff. Okay, okay. Oh boy. It's Harry. 
Holy fuck. Oh shit. Is it a boss? It is. Do not remember this boss. Rip. Don't tell me that. Elephants on acid. Okay, I need a good support system here to make this work. Wouldn't it be awesome if we got like a first attempt boss here? Probably not gonna happen. Let's be honest. <laughs> Any advice for this one, elephants on acid? That's a little creepy. First attempt. <laughs> Dude. Go for the backside. Is that like general life advice or you mean specifically for this boss? <laughs> Thank you for the support, <laughs> Cloud Curiosity. We can do this, man, with, with the power of friendship. Both. <laughs> all right, all right. Can't even tell what the fuck is his backside. Oh look, we got a we got old hunter someone helping us. Like what the fuck is actually his backside? Is it this? Yo, could you land like a an attack? Because that would be pretty cool. And also could the people in the high ground eat a giant dick? Like, seriously, what the fuck is the head and what is the... good damage. I think there are three torsos on him. Take more damage than the rest of his figure. Okay. Let me try that. Oh yeah. It's good damage, dude. Is there any way to kill the guys on the on the t higher ground? I think we're doing pretty good, actually. There are stairs. I'm actually do. I think I'm feeling okay about like the approach I have right now, because it's possible if I go up the stairs, the boss does some attack that gets me there, and I seem to be dodging the projectiles well enough. Oh shit. I didn't see like the the goo on the ground. <laughs> oh man, I wasn't yeah, I wasn't watching for the for like the the juice. The juice got us. <laughs> Cloud curiosity. Dude, we almost I, I thought we almost had it. 
A few more combos. Mucus. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of... It is mucus, isn't it? Right. Fall to this side. Deaded. We're through. Just doing elephants on acid strats. Just run through everything. Damn it, forgot about that goo. Yeah, man. The goo got us. I don't know if the summon was doing a whole lot. Uh, I'm gonna try without the sum. What? How dare you? How dare you? Ah, so there's a shooter up on the bridge. I see. Oh god. Try to zigzag this. <laughs> Somehow didn't get hit. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Things that make you go goo. Hello, sir. I would like to hit you in the head. Okay. Oh, get out, get out. Wow. That is a remarkable amount of damage that you're doing, sir. I'll have you know. Give me the head. Aw, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. It's not working out. You know what? Maybe I should try the stairs. Kill the bitches up top first. <laughs> I think it might be right. Okay. Um. I hate everything. <laughs> All right. We're going to go for one more attempt. And then we're going to call it. I did not like that attempt. I much prefer our first attempt. What is the durability on this? It's already low durability. Fuck off, dude. You and your Zelda weapon system here. Try a different weapon. Could be a good idea. Could go for like long range attacks with the uh, with the big man sword. I reckon the summon distracted him the first time, you think? Could be. Fire is the answer. Huh. Problem is, I don't know if I have any right now. Okay. Please don't. Oh, 
Oh god. <laughs> I can't equip it now, my dude. Not gonna work. I do have some fire paper, but I don't have it equipped. Okay. Where's my freaking fire paper, you fuck? I have bolt paper. Do I have no fire paper at all? We'll try bolt paper, maybe. Equip on stairs? Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. I can see... I saw the hand. Did not see that one, though. Would like to eliminate you. That's okay. Okay. You know what? Fair play. This bitch is dead. Crossover. Kill the other bitches. And you're golden. It's very creepy voices. Okay. Takes always just like one little bit extra to kill them. Okay, well... Let's see if I can run around him. It's bad. It's bad news. Get out, get out. Okay. Oh shit, it's the muck. Lord, have mercy. I don't... I don't know how to prevent the muck. Could lob some Molotovs from the bridge? Yeah, I can... I can I can try that, but it, it's just... I might have one at max. I used them in, in the prior boss. And they won't do enough damage. I think what I'll do for next time... Is I'll, I'll farm some vials so I don't have to do that on, on camera. And I'll also try to buy some fire paper because I don't have any. And lightning didn't seem that effective. So, when the muck comes, you must retreat. Yeah, but you know, when I see it, it, it was already too late. I didn't have any easy retreats. Maybe try to get a shortcut? I don't know if there was a shortcut, man. I don't know. But either way, I'm gonna cut it here today because I'm pretty tired and I feel like I've hit like a, a stump point here. Like I'm gonna be stuck on this today. So gonna take a break, let my brain learn the patterns for next time. Then we're gonna come back re-energized and do it. For me, I ignored the guys up top and used the weapon with fast attack speed. I think that actually works pretty well, Prim. Like, the first attempt we did was going pretty... pretty good, right? Good stream, Johnny. Fun to watch. Thank you, man. Really appreciate you stopping by. Let's find someone to raid. We're gonna go say hello to... some lucky fucker. Let's see. Who do we got? Uh, bop, bop, bop. This is always exciting. Or we're gonna raid, boys. <laughs> yeah, Basil. It's raid time, buddy. Who do we have? Purple Mango is on. Let's go, dude. We're raiding Purple Mango. He's a very good friend. So, let's do it, boys. Thank you for watching, as always. 
and I'll catch you next time. As always, you can check out my schedule down below in the panels. Basil sends you all a hug, and I'll see you next time. Bright purple mango, let's hit you up, buddy. Elephants on acid, peace out, man. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.